Hello there, I uh, welcome back to cost and management accounting in five. Uh, in this video, we want to look uh, at a question paper of November 2023. I'm still working on a question paper of November 2023. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at question four of that question paper, and it's on the preparation of the stock cut uh, using the weighted average method. So uh, the question that we have reads that the following information is extracted from the records of Zod manufacturers on that one December 2020. Prepare the stock card for Zod manufacturers by using the information given below according to the weighted average method. Uh, in brackets, all amounts must be rounded uh, to the nearest rand. Very important to take note uh, that we are going to round off uh, any uh, uh, answer that we are going to get that has got some uh, decimal places. Then we are uh, supposed to round it to the nearest rand. Uh, to the nearest rand ju uh, just means uh, 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 the same as saying uh, to the nearest one number as simple as that so our question has got 12 marks so uh this is december 2020 and all the first parts uh, we have got an uh, opening balance of item uh, 63l was 80 units at 75 francs so this is our opening balance so we can go back to our, go to our answer section and see what we have so we have got the stock card of zone manufacturers on 31 december 2020 and we have got the receipts uh columns and they've got issues column and then the balance uh, uh columns so um uh, we are going to start with the balance. Let's just refer back to the balance to see what we have. And we have got 80 units at 75 plants. So this is going to be our opening balance. So we can go up there and see that. Uh, remember, the date is one there. So we're just going to indicate it as such. So one is our date, which is here, uh, which is indicated. And then um, we go to the balance section. That's where we are going to uh, put our opening balances. Remember, we've got 80 units. Uh, so our units here, we've got 80. And then the price that we're given there is 75 plants. So uh, we can just indicate that 75 rand. Then uh, on the total part, we are now going to multiply 80 times 75 to get the total. And the total that we are having is 6,000. If you multiply uh, 80 uh, times 75, we are going to get your, your 6,000. So we are just going to indicate as such. So um, here, now we are saying uh, 6,000. So this is what we have. Then we go to the next uh uh, item that we have uh, on that uh, on, on the information that we are given, uh, we go to the fifth uh, year. We are, we are having five, which is December five. Received fifteen units, uh, fifteen units uh, purchased at eight rand each. So these are receipts we are receiving. I remember uh, received. So we are receiving fifteen units at eight rand each. So we go there. We just end out the section that we have. Uh, so uh, we are receiving uh, fifteen units. Uh, each one are uh, costing 80. And then obviously the total, we are now saying 15 times 80, then we get 1,200. So uh, on the balance section, um, remember, we are going uh, to multiply at the average price every time we receive uh, we receive goods. So whenever we pay the receipts, uh, we are supposed to calculate the average price here. Uh, if the average price is the one that we use next time if we are going to issue. We are just going to issue at that uh, average price here. So basically what I'm saying is uh, whenever we receive, uh, we, then we are supposed to multiply the average price. Uh, let's see what we are going to do. Uh, so since we are receiving, it means it's going to increase our units. So it's, we're saying 80 plus 15, and then you are going to get 95. This is now our balance. And then um, on the uh, total, uh, total column, remember uh, the... The price you can leave it blank here on the balance uh, whenever you receive. So the, because we are going to calculate it as an average, so what we are going to do is as we are saying we are receiving. So it's an addition to our our, our initial balance which is six thousand. So we are going to say six thousand plus one thousand two hundred. So if you add the two, you are going to see that we are going to get seven thousand two hundred. And then you can now calculate the average there. So by calculating now we are saying seven thousand two hundred divided by ninety five. Then you get your your average here. Uh, if you calculate it and round it off to the nearest uh, rand, which is the whole number, we are going to get 76 rands. So uh, this is 76. So this is our average. And then uh, we can go back now to see uh, on the next transaction, uh, which is oh, now on the sixth. I retained 12, 12 units to the supplier from the opening stock. So the opening stock is this one. That's where we are going to retain uh, some... Uh, uh, some goods there, some op uh, some opening stock goods that we are going to retain are there. So uh, retaining it means it's going to reduce our stock. So we go back there and try to see where do you put. Remember we have got twelve units, and then uh, the cost 
uh, the, the, the price per unit that we are going to use are when you retain it. Uh, let's try to see. Uh, the, we are going to use the, the, the price per unit that is for opening stock. Remember, we are retaining um, units of the opening stock and the retain for uh, the, the units, uh, the, the price per unit for opening stock is uh, you are using it here, which is 75. So this is the one that we are going to use since we are retaining uh, 12 units from the opening stock. So basically, that's what we are going to summarize there. So remember the text, uh, is five there. So uh, we go here, uh, let's try to see. We are now saying uh, we are retaining our 12 units and uh, the 12 units uh, is from opening stock. So we, just, we are just going to indicate it as a negative here. Show that uh, this is a retaining. And then the unit price, remember, we are using of opening stock, which is 75 with this one. So we are going to say 75. And then we multiply 12 at uh, time 75, we get uh, 900. So we have got 900 here. And again, we show it as a negative. So uh, you, you, you just don't put brackets on the uh, price per unit because uh, it doesn't affect anything. You can just put all the units, which is going to reduce our total units. And then the uh, total value also is going to reduce the total value. So what we are going to do now, we are going to say 95 minus 12. Again, the figure that is going to come here is our balance for units. So if you say 95 minus 12, you are going to get 83. And then we are going to say 7,200 minus 900. And then we, when you subtract that, you are going to get 6,300. 6, then obviously, we are not calculating the, the average price here, uh, whereby we are saying uh, 6,300 divided by uh, 83. And obviously, to the uh, nearest whole number again, we are going to get 76. So um, here, uh, it's going to uh, indicate our 76. So this is what we have. Then we can go to see what we have on the next um, date from 8. We are now here on 13. This is now received 45 units from the supplier. I purchased at uh, 85 uh, rands each. So basically, we've got 45 units. This is an addition, uh, other receipts. And then uh, the price uh, per unit is 85, uh, as simple as that. So we are going to the column of receipts. When we are here, we are saying uh, received 45. Uh, it's uh, a price per unit of uh, 85. So uh, 45, it's 85. So here we are saying 85. Then at uh, the total, we are saying 45 times 85. Then we are going to get 3,000, uh, 3,825. So here we are saying 3,825. As simple as that. So uh, this is an addition, remember, so we're going to say 83 plus 45. Then we get the balance that we are going to have there, which is 128. So here we've got 128. And obviously, we are going to say uh, on the total part, 6,300 plus 3,825. We get our total uh, there. Uh, let's try to see what do we have. We have got uh, 10,125. So here we've got 10,125. Then on the average uh, column, we are going to say 10,125 now divided by 128 so that we get the weighted average here. So uh, if you divide there, uh, we are going to get, uh, let's try to see, we are going to get as, to the nearest uh, round, which is the whole number, I remember, is going to be 79. So here we've got 79. So uh, let's take note that every time we receive, we calculate a new uh, weighted average. So um, this is uh, what we have. So we go to the next date, uh, which is 15. So we can just refer back to see what we have there on the 15th. On the 15th, they say issue 30 units to the factor. So this is now an issue. So whenever we have an issue, we take uh, the weighted average of the previous uh, the previous calculation that we did for weighted average is the one that we're going to pick as price per unit. And then units, obviously, we have 30. That is an issue. We're going to put it in the section of issue. Uh, that is uh, here. Issue is here. So let's just uh, maybe refer back. You see columns of issues are here. So this is the, this is the column that we are going to put here. For units is going to come here. So we are saying uh, we issued uh, the number of units that we issued is 30. So we are going to say 30. Uh, 30 here is our units. Let's just try to see if we are in line. Uh, units is here. For issues, we are going to say, use this column. Uh, we are, so we are here. We are saying uh, 30. Then price are per unit. Uh, remember, we are saying whenever we issue, we, when, when we are using weighted average uh, methods, whenever we issue, we take the weighted average of the previous uh, calculation. So the previous calculation is here, we have got 79. So this is the one that is going to apply here. So we are going to put it here uh, as 79. 
and then now uh, on the total part we are going to say take times 79 to get the uh, to get the total so if you multiply it uh, times 79 you get you get, get 2370 so you've got a 2370 so this is our what we have so uh having done this um we are now going to calculate the balance remember this issue means is going to reduce uh, the uh the units that we have so you can say 128 then we subtract that what do we get here let's try to calculate that one we get 98 so here we've got 98 for the units on the balance section and then uh the per units uh, obviously it's not going to change uh, it's not going to change we are just going to pick this one and uh, put it here so uh, the uh uh price per unit is going to be 79 and then obviously 98 times 79 we get the answer we are supposed to get the same answer by saying 10,125 minus 2370 you also get the same answer so uh, it depends on which uh, way you are you, you have chosen so here if you say 98 times 79 you are going to get a 7742 so here we have got 7742 so this is what we have then we're going to check again on the next uh date which is 21 see what is happening there so on the 21st uh if you we check correctly let's try to see uh 21st saying received 35 units purchased at 90 rand each so this is a receipt again we go to the columns of receipts units we've got 35 then um price per unit is 90 so we can just go and enter that one 21 that is a uh, uh, 21 we are having 35 uh, let's just try to see even 35 and then price per unit uh is 90 90 runs. So we multiply 90 times 35 to get the total, which is 3,150. And then uh, this is an addition. So we are going to say 98 plus 35. Uh, then we are going to get 133. Then we are going to get uh, 133. So here we are saying uh, 133 is our balance. And then uh, for our total, we are going to say 7,742 plus 3,150. And then you get um you get ten thousand eight hundred ninety two, ten thousand eight hundred and ninety two. And obviously, all the uh weighted average are there as going to say the total minus the number of units ten thousand eight hundred ninety two to enter the one hundred thirty three. Then we are going to get eighty two uh eighty two runs is the weighted average. So here we are going to say eighty two. Obviously, it's to, to the nearest rand, which is the nearest war number. So this is what we have. Then we can check on the last one. Is on the 20 uh, square feet. You can just go there and try to see. So on the 25th, saying retained nine units, uh, retained uh, nine units from the factory. So what we are going to do is that we are going to uh, indicate that there are retains that have uh, taken place. Uh, and these retains, we are going to indicate them in the column of issues and we're going to uh, indicate it as a negative figure. So um, remember, it's being returned to factory. It's different from the returns that we have uh, noticed here on the eighth that return company to the supplier. These are to the supplier, and this one is the return to the factory. So return to the factory, you put them in the column of issues, and so it is a negative. Then return to supplier, you put it in the column of uh, the receipts, and then you put it as a negative. As simple as that. So uh, here we are saying nine units is, is being returned to the factory. So we are going to come here. Uh, we are going to come here. We yes, put it in the column of uh, issues. And remember, the uh, number of units are here. So we have got nine uh, units that we are going to put here uh, and put it as a negative. And then uh, on the uh, price per unit, uh, obviously, we are going to check uh, this price that we have there. Remember, this price here, uh, I think there's a figure that is missing here. Uh, it's supposed to be 82. So we have got 82 here. So uh, this is the uh, price per unit that we are going to take and put it here, uh, which is going to be 82. And then obviously we are going to say nine times eighty two. Let's try to see what we get there. Uh, nine, uh, nine times our eighty two, and then we get your seven hundred thirty eight. So here, if you multiply, you are supposed to get seven hundred and thirty eight. Let's try to see seven hundred thirty eight. Then on the balance section, you're going to say one thirty three minus uh, nine. Uh, and obviously you are going to get one. Um, let's try to see. Uh, this you are saying it's a negative uh, so uh let's try to go back and try to see what type of retain is this one so that we don't uh make a mistake there uh, we are saying retain nine un uh, ten nine units from the uh from the factory so they are going to increase at uh, the value that we have uh uh in the 
value, the last value that we have for for the last number of units, a figure that we have is 133. Remember, this uh this movement of units is coming from factory back uh, to the stock. So it's going to uh increase the stock that we have. So we come here, we say 133, and then we add uh nine. And then we get 142. So it means here we put 142. And then uh on the uh we can just leave this, we can just leave uh here blank, and then uh, we come to the uh to the total section. We're going to say 10,892 plus uh seven plus seven uh seven hundred and thirty-eight. So we are going to say uh ten thousand eight hundred and ninety-two, and then we add our seven hundred and thirty-eight. And then we are going to get 11,630. So here we've got uh, 11,630. Remember, uh, this is indicated as rats. So uh, on the uh, weighted average there, we are, we are supposed to calculate a new weighted average. So we are going to say 11,630. Uh, then we divide by the number of units, which is 142. And then we are going to get your uh, 81.901. So 81.9 up to the nearest uh, rand, it becomes 82. So here we've got 82. So uh, this is what we gave. Uh, so uh, the final value that we have of this stock is 11,630. Then we can just refer back to check if, you, if we have indicated uh, the current sign, that is the rand. Uh, we have got some uh, a missing uh, missing sections here where we are supposed to put R here for runs. And then here also you are supposed to put your R for runs. Uh, remember here again on 900, I think uh, we have to correct again here. Uh, we say uh, seventy. We are going. We say seven. Go up times seventy-five. We get to nine hundred, and we are supposed to say nine hundred, and then we put uh, runs in brackets. Then we come here uh, to check. Are you put here again? We are supposed to put it in runs, so you can just indicate in runs. So uh, this is uh, what we have, and then uh, I think uh, we have corrected everything. But what is important is that at the end of the valuation of the stock card. We are having a stock of the value uh, of uh, 11,630. This is our final value of the stock that we have according to the weighted average uh, cost method. So this is what we've guessed according to this video. Those who have been subscribed, subscribe and share. We are still coming with more videos as we prepare for exams. As for this video, I'm signing out. We'll meet again in the next video.